Hello everyone, Miss Lisa here, and welcome to Family Sunday School, an illustrated invitation for families. This is our eighth week. Wow, we're two thirds of the way there. And today's story is about Lydia. Lydia extends an invitation. So I wonder if you know anyone by the name of Lydia. I think that's a beautiful name. So we are going to tell the story and Miss Lisa has her story cards and you can print these off, color them, mix them up and retell the story. Okay, so we have this story time comes from Acts chapter, um, book 16, verse 13 through 15. We'd been traveling all over the region, sharing the good news about God's love, when Paul had a dream telling him to go to Macedonia. So Paul went and he, so he went to Philippi, one of the big cities there, and he stayed for a few days. When it came to the Sabbath day, he went down to the river and we'd heard we might find other people there praying to God and we thought we could pray with them. So here is Paul and some of his travelers that wrote this in the book in the Bible. And so they went down to the river where they could pray with others. And they found a group of women who had come together and sat down to talk with them. One of the women named Lydia was from a nearby town. Her job was to sell expensive purple cloth. She was a woman who loved God. While we were talking, God opened her heart and she and her family went and they were baptized there at the river. And then she said to us, if you believe that my faith is real, that I want to join you in this, come home with me and stay for a while as my guests. We, the people with Paul, hesitated, but she convinced us. So here is Lydia serving Paul and his friends, I'm sure, some nice food in her home. So she was a very giving person. Lydia um, invited the travelers back to her home. So we are going to have a few activities, um, and I hope you join me for that. And a closing with Ginger. Remember, color your pages, or you don't have to color, or you can paint them, or do whatever you want with your pages, but I recommend that you mix them all up on the floor and retell the story to, with your family. And that'll help, help you and everyone to remember the story and relive it. So I hope you enjoy it and I'll see you in a little bit. Bye for now. Hello everyone, Miss Lisa here and welcome to our activity for this week, our, our story of Lydia. Um, and Miss Lisa says, welcome, right? So Lydia's hospitality in our story today is a sign of her faith. And um, one of the activities today is to let everyone know at your front door, let them know that they're welcome. Maybe you have a welcome mat or a wreath. I'm going to add this to my wreath and maybe put some buttons or maybe a ribbon or a bow on it to say welcome to anyone who comes. And it is as simple as crayons on paper or Miss Lisa did marker on paper um, just with one word, welcome. Or it can be as elaborate as a wreath made from flowers, from you know, that you may have in your basement or from your Christmas things, or maybe you have some real flowers. Um, I have some, excuse me a minute. I have some tulips here, so maybe I'd want to bring in some springness, some spring colors. I can do that with those, I don't know. So, 
be creative, right? And then on, um, I'm including a, a little note on the Facebook website, a little fun fact. It about purple fabric and that's the the fabric the color fabric that Lydia was selling remember in the story so here is a fun fact it says it took about 8,000 seashells to make one gram of purple dye a very little bit of purple dye back then purple dye was the most highly prized color in that area where Lydia was from. So we have purple fabric here. Miss Lisa has some um, different shades of purple fabric. And to know that the seashells and the substance in the shells is what made the purple in the fabric. Fun fact. So, maybe you could decorate your wreath or your porch with some seashells. That might be fun, right? So have some fun with that and welcome everyone at your front door. Okay, enjoy that and we'll see you soon. Bye for now. Hello everyone, Miss Lisa and Ginger here for our closing for Family Sunday School this week. Lydia extends an invitation was the story. Yeah. So our imagining together questions while you're coloring or working on your activities, which part of the story did you like best? I wonder. And was there a character in this story that stood out to you? Who was special in the story to you? And I wonder why Lydia wanted to be baptized all of a sudden, her and her family. I wonder what made her decide to do that. And I wonder why God wanted Paul and Lydia to meet. I wonder if this story reminds you of anyone in your life. It reminds me of someone in mine. And this week, how will your family Join God's work of connection with those who are new to us. Okay, so our final coloring page is a picture of Lydia hosting Paul, right? Filling his cup, and that's that could maybe be water for her baptism, but I thought it might be her hair, and she's in the purple cloth like the purple cloth um, that she sold, and she is faithful. So, very fun coloring page. And I hope you enjoyed this story and this, this lesson and activities. I have a closing prayer, if you wouldn't mind bowing your head with me, and we'll pray. Dear God, thank you for this story about Lydia and Paul. Thank you for softening our hearts so that we can experience you even more fully as we connect with others. Help us to be open to your presence like Lydia and Paul were as we go about our lives. Amen. So have a wonderful week. Stay warm, safe, and enjoy your families together. Hope to see you all soon. Bye for now.